Regular press conference of Minister Motegi will now start. This will likely be my last press conference under the Suga administration. It's been one year since the start of the Suga administration, but uh, uh, two years since the start of my position as a uh, foreign minister. We will take questions from the floor. Please identify yourself before asking your question. Nikkei Shimbun, please. This is Tobita from Nikkei Shimbun. As you briefly mentioned at the outset, this will be your final press conference under the Suga administration. Uh, what uh, would, how would you summarize the uh, Suga administration? Well, it was in September of last year that Suga administration was started, inaugurated. The spread of COVID-19 had impacted very much, and uh, there was coup d'etat in April in Myanmar, and in April, situations in Afghanistan had uh, changed. Uh, we were faced with a large transformation of the international society, and I think we were able to pursue our foreign uh, diplomacy powerfully face-to-face Diplomatic relations uh, were constrained because of the spread of uh, the pandemic. However, on the 16th of April, for the first time in the world, Japan-U.S. Uh, summit meeting was held face-to-face -face and uh, visited the United States, Europe, as well as Southeast Asia, uh, and also held a nu numerous online uh, conferences as head of state. In terms of COVID-19 countermeasures, Vaccination, which is a key to spread, uh, key to suppress the spread of uh, COVID-19, we wanted to ensure fair access to a vaccine. And uh, together with Gavi, we co-hosted the COVAX vaccine summit. And also, vaccine was to be extended to countries and regions in uh, Southeast Asia. We're likely to be ranked number three in terms of that size. And in terms of initiatives by Japan, the last one mile support has received high recognition from countries and regions. The U.S.-Japan alliance, which is uh, fundamental to uh, Japanese foreign diplomacy, we were able to build a, a relationship of trust, unwavering trust with the United States. And uh, Mr. Suga has built a, a trustful relationship with uh, Mr. Biden personally. And I think that was conducive to strengthening the U.S.-Japan alliance, uh, which is an important pillar of Japanese diplomacy and uh, security. And when it comes to free and open Indo-Pacific, uh, it started out this year uh, uh, with an online meeting. And the uh, Quad meeting uh, has been conducted since 2019. But uh, this year, a uh, summit meeting of the Quad members had been held for the first time, ASEAN, Europe, uh, the EU with uh, these uh, countries towards the realization of a free and open Indo-Pacific. We, uh, the administration has been able to deepen relationship. With regards to building of a stable relationship with neighboring countries, this is an initiative that uh, the country is currently working on, and Japan, UK, EPA, or signing of RCEP are some examples of building and expanding the free and fair international economic system. Leadership has been exercised in this regard. As I have uh, summarized, under the Suga administration, uh, in order to ensure safe and security of Japan, as well as prosperity of the country, in order so to maintain and strengthen the international order of, uh, I think we have been able to promote uh, diplomacy in a powerful way. And uh, Monday next week, the new administration under Mr. Kishida uh, will be inaugurated. The world is faced with COVID-19 and climate change among the many challenges that the world is facing. Under 
uh, multilateralism, protecting uh, the uh, national interest of Japan and to contribute to the peace and security of the world. Uh, we will be uh, uh, actively promoting uh, our diplomacy uh, and uh, open and free and open in the Pacific and also uh, lead the way, pave the way uh, in setting uh, new rules uh, for the world. So I expect him to play a, a critical role in that regard. New Prime Minister, Mr. Kishida, as the uh, foreign minister, uh, he had served as a, a longest uh, minister, uh, foreign minister, 2015 Japan-Korea agreement, and uh, also a uh, visit uh, by Mr. Obama in 2016 of uh, Hiroshima. Uh, so those are uh, key uh, achievements of uh, Mr. Kishida as a foreign minister. I am quite confident that he will be able to deliver uh, significant results as the prime minister. Anyone who has next question? No questions? Well then, with this, we would like to end today's press conference. Thank you.